All right. Next, we have a man who got us all drunk recently. Anagram for his name, my favorite one I found, Jars in Zoos. <laughs> Jason Rezos, everybody. <laughs> I come to educate y'all on the common fishes in this great state of Oregon. <laughs> Inform you about the rules pertaining to their lawful use. <laughs> and as restitution to the state of Oregon, as ordered by the Honorable Judge Maxine Peters of the Ninth District Court of Multiple County. <laughs> now, the first fish you want to get acquainted with is the spiny back stickleback. It's commonly known as the rainbow trout. <laughs> <laughs> now, this species is recognizable by its vermiculated belly. So soft it ain't like it got scales at all. <laughs> the courteous lips you'll see on any fish this side of California. <laughs> I mean, pretty is just for looking at is all. Nothing salacious. Close up to take your hook out, and now might be a good time to remind y'all. Oregon Department of Fisheries and Wildlife Statute 46.2, subsection F. <laughs> no angler shall remove from streams, lakes, or coastal watersheds fishes for the purpose of erotic stimulation. <laughs> <laughs> or I like to think of what Ellen Generous once said, fishes are friends, not bugs. <laughs> <laughs> now, the main chain of salmon are found around pelagic regions on the central Oregon coastline and identified by an auxiliary spine along the dorsal fin, commonly known as the jack salmon. Now, despite its name, should an Oregon fisheries and wildlife game warden should happen to so find a mess of them in your britches, well, you can try telling them they just swim there. <laughs> they lie to make it where you got to register at every Fred Meyer, New Seasons, and Old Foods fish counter within a six-mile region. <laughs> explain to them your particular legal stats. <laughs> fish is a friend, not one <laughs> Now, the Del Pinidae terciopsis is a happy little critter we like to call Bottom nose dog. <laughs> oh, they think they so cute. Oh, look at me, I'm picking new dog. Let me pick for you. <laughs> well, I know what you're thinking right now. Talking ain't no fish. Well, time to remind you, Oregon Department of Fisheries and Wildlife 46, subsection G. <laughs> These statutes bar on zoophilia and related food acts for fishes extend all marine wildlife in the state of Oregon and its outlying coastal regions. <laughs> so that includes the dolphins. <laughs> that includes all the whales. <laughs> that includes the sea lions. That includes the walrus. You don't want to be fucking the walrus, am I right, Kevin? No. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect time to pause for just one moment and feel do we need the, we need more information from you. family looking through the glass floor at the Bully Brewing Company in Florida, Oregon, and they see you having your way with a walrus underneath the pier. <laughs> All right. They lie on it so you can't come within a thousand feet of any lake, river, stream, or aquatic water. <laughs> now, mammoth, small mouth mountain sucker. This, this fish can have dangerous regions in the cold water streams of central Oregon. Now, this is a fish you may find within the Umatilla Native American tribal lands. And as you may already know, federal law don't extend it to no Native American tribal lands. <laughs> I don't care what my parole officer has to say about it. <laughs> now, I got this friend named Charlie. He runs a flying tackle shop just south there of Clamp River Basin. He runs up there by the Coyote Bob Roadhouse Casino. You go in there, you mention to him the clam a small mountain, mountain sucker, and he'll know what you're there for. <laughs> so Charlie, he parked that or some shit. <laughs> Take you on your own personal private guided tour. 
awesome. They had a presentation on Oregon Fishes and Compliance and I just recorded them all on the couch. Thank you very much. <laughs> Jason Reese, everybody! Woo!